Welcome back to a new video. I'm already in a nesting mode and can't wait to finally start preparing my meals. I'm going to cook um, some freezer-friendly meals and I will freeze them so that after birth Cassian just has to reheat them so it's easier for him and for me because I know that I will get some delicious food. <laughs> Let's start with the first recipe on my list. I will make a roasted tomato bell pepper soup to freeze. First of all, I put a baking paper on a baking tray. Then I cut the tomatoes in half and place them on the baking tray. I also cut half an onion and some garlic cloves and added them to the baking tray together with three bell peppers. And to add a little bit of protein, I added one can of white beans. Last but not least I added some olive oil and salt. After that I baked everything in the oven until the veggies got golden brown and baked but not burnt. For the next step I put everything in my beloved Vitamix with some pepper and veggie stock together with coconut oil and mixed everything well. Then I remembered that we still had some parsley left in the fridge, so I mixed it in too. Last but not least, I labeled my bags, let the soup cool down a bit and poured it in the bags. We have a vacuum sealing drawer at home, which is so practical for freezing food to save space in the freezer. And my tomato soup is ready to freeze. This tomato soup is the best when you serve it with a slice of sourdough bread and maybe some sunflower and pumpkin seeds on top. And that's so good. Another day, another recipe to freeze. Now we're making kind of an improvised lentil curry. First, I cut half an onion into small cubes. One glove of garlic and some bell peppers. One zucchini and some cherry tomatoes. Then I sweated the onions and garlic a little before adding one teaspoon of curry paste and all the spices. The next step was to wash the lentils and add them to the pan with vegetable stock. I let everything simmer for a few minutes before adding the vegetables, a can of chopped tomatoes and a package of coconut milk. Lastly, I divided everything into portions again, let it cool down, vacuum sealed it and froze it. While the lentils are still cooking, we are starting with our next recipe. The next one I want to freeze are vegan burger patties. The recipe is out of my cookbook and I thought this is amazing because you can use the burger patties in burgers, on couscous, in salad or whatever and they're super perfect just to reheat in the pan or in the toaster. So let's start. I started grating some carrots then I added two cans of kidney beans in a bowl and mashed them with a potato masher. After that I added the carrots, some oats chia seeds, the juice of half a lemon, some fresh parsley, pepper, salt, smoked bell pepper powder, a little bit of soya sauce and nutritional yeast. Now it's time to mix everything well, mix, mix, mix. And when it's too wet, you can always add some more oats like I did. Then I took a little bit of the dough, formed little bowls and pressed some patties. 
I love to use sesame oil for frying because it always gives this special taste and like this I fried my patties in some sesame oil. After the burger patties cooled I labeled and froze them again and I already cannot wait to eat them after birth <laughs> because they always taste so good. Ready for the last recipe for today. I still have some recipes planned, but for now it's the last one and we're making some energy bowls out of dates. I already tried one combination and I really loved it, so let's make them. The most annoying thing about eating dates is that they always have to be pitted. But let's do this. After that, I put the dates in the food processor, added some goji berries and cashew nuts. And for a little bit of protein, I added a little bit of vanilla protein powder because I love the taste. After that, we mix everything, but not too much because otherwise it gets too wet and too sticky. Now I take a little bit of the mess and make little balls out of it. For the next flavor I added some dates together with almonds, a little bit of vanilla extract, cinnamon, ginger powder and we mix everything together again. To add a little bit more flavor and a little crunch, I rolled some of them in cacao nibs, some of them in cocoa powder and the last one in a mixture of cumin and pepper. Hello, it's another day and I'm ready to cook another recipe today. We're cooking another recipe out of my cookbook. I'm making this sweet potato chickpea curry. Let's go. I started again by cutting an onion into small pieces, adding one teaspoon of coconut oil in a pan and the onion to fry. After some minutes, I added the garlic and another teaspoon of curry paste and all my spices again. Now I added sweet potato cut into little pieces and I had some carrots left which I also added to the pan together with coconut milk. After that I mixed everything and let it simmer. As soon as the sweet potato got a little bit softer I added frozen spinach and let everything simmer again. <laughs> In the meantime, I drained and washed two cans of chickpeas. Of course, I also added them to the curry, mixed everything well and let everything cook until the sweet potato was soft. Curry is done now. Um, I will let everything cool down a little bit and then we will freeze it again. While the curry is still cooking, I'm making the next freezer-friendly meal ready. We're making some smoothie packages. I will make a smoothie base. Um, I have spinach, um, frozen strawberries, mangoes, bananas and I also put in some cucumber. Then I prepared some smoothie packages. When I want them or need them, I or Cassian just have to put it in the mixer, mix it. I or he just add a little bit of blend beef milk, peanut butter or almond butter or something else <laughs> and just mix it. So it's a little bit less work. <laughs> And 
and that's it. I made some different kind of packages like this one. It's just with banana, spinach and cucumber. cucumber. Over here we just have fruits and it's so simple because you take it and put in some milk, chia seeds or whatever you want, mix it and you have a smoothie. And sweet potato curry is ready to freeze. I think that's it for now. Um, maybe I will make a lasagna next week and freeze it as well. But I'm not sure yet. I think it's enough for the first time because cousin is also cooking for me and I'm always able to order, f order food from different restaurants because maybe you already know but cousin is the owner of some restaurants so I think I will definitely have enough food for the first time when baby girl arrives. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope you like the recipes. They're super simple and quick but healthy and yes see you soon